Welcome back, Michael Corrin. So I mentioned Bernie Farr, but iconic uh, in all sorts of ways. Well, Warren Kinsella, you mentioned the name, and, and then there are people who just move to the, to the, to the side of the room. Um, all the right people. All the right people. <laughs> I admired your work for, people will hate me for this, for years in terms of exposing Nazism and what was going on. This, I mean, all, all decent people should be aware of this. There are bad guys in our society. They have to be exposed. The accusation now, though, is that uh, you are trying to control all sorts of free expression from all sorts of people who are by no means national socialists. True? No. No, it's not. And uh, my view is, and you, you wrote very kindly about uh, a couple of the books that I wrote. And I will do so again. The subject. The problem is this, and I think um, a lot of folks have difficulty understanding this because there's been so much heat and so much ink spilled on the issue of these human rights commissions mm -hmm. in the past few months, is that in Canada, we have got uh, very little avenue to deal with this problem. And, you know, some people, as you've pointed out with uh, the guests, you know, may not regard this a problem, but some of us do. You know, if a kid uh, of color gets up in the morning and somebody's written on their mailbox, nigger, go home, or what have you, that to me is threatening speech. That is offensive speech. To me too. So what do you do about that? So traditionally, uh, we had, going back to the Cohen Commission in 67, we had the ability, theoretically, to have a hate prosecution, Section 319 of the uh, Criminal Code. Those haven't happened. There have been how many of those cases have uh, been? Eleven since 1971. Eleven in 40 years. Okay? So that threat, you know, the, to th free speech that people get so uh, apoplectic about, it really, they're not taking place very often. There used to be, there, Manitoba had a group libel statute 30, 40, 50 years ago, but there hasn't been for this vast number, because I disagree with what Michael was saying earlier, this isn't a problem. B'nai B'rith reports on this and has been for decades. There is a problem. People are being subjected to discrimination, not on the basis just of accommodation or employment. They are getting those types of terrible things said to them, you know, when they come out of their home and see some statement or, 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 or what have you, you know. And um, so what do you do with that stuff? And that's what human uh, rights commissions were developed, first at the provincial level. Uh, to deal with, and then the, it was actually Canada, mm. uh, paradoxically, that followed in 77. And then the section that, that the various bloggers, the right-wing bloggers, are very upset about um, only came in, actually, as a consequence of 9-11. Okay, but you, you, you mentioned these incidents, which are obviously, they're emotional, they're emotive, and, and they're appalling. But let's talk about the, the, the cartoons, the Danish cartoons, that were published in many other places. Um, double standard. Not in Canada, but in the United States. New York Times refusing to publish the Danish cartoons in the rather portentous, as only the New York Times can be, editorial. We have the literary ability to convey what is in these cartoons in print. They did that. The same week, they had a picture of the Virgin Mary soaked in, in urine because suddenly the literary ability had completely uh, lost them. They were frightened. There was a national newspaper in Canada that wanted to publish the cartoons, took a security costing. It was too expensive. They couldn't guard the building. Is it... Um, is it freedom of expression to publish cartoons that were probably the, the, the lead news item all over the world, or is it hateful to do so? Um, well, I think, uh, well, I mean, you, you've taken me to task. I've been on this show before, and you took me to task, uh, rightfully, you know, for my criticisms and poking fun at Stockwell Day mm. with Barney the Dinosaur. So I'm hardly going to sit here now and say to you, Michael, I don't think it's appropriate to be critical or even caustically critical of somebody's deeply held beliefs. I've done that myself. Um, in Ezra's case, you said you don't want to talk about Ezra because he's not here. Uh, I think in the case, though, of some of these people that we don't want to name, uh, you know, they've demanded crucifixion and then they get it and they but, complain but I think about the character If I had uh, on the show, here are the cartoons. Uh, they're being discussed by most literate people and yeah. many illiterate people, frankly, in other parts of the world. And you need to see them because they're not actually as bad as many people say. And anyway, they're cartoons. They're, they're meant in some way to, to offend. If I would have shown them on this TV show, I may well have been taken to a Human Rights Commission. Should I have been? Nobody has been no, taken I, to a Human Rights Commission. I was with it. Bernie and I. I mean, this is the, there's been so much anger and intensity over this. I opposed the uh, the complaints against uh, Levant and Stein. And to the extent that I met with some of the kids uh, who were behind uh, the Levant one, and I tried to talk them out of it, and they persisted. But I understood why they were upset. 
this was their you know their deeply held belief and they wanted an opportunity in the case of McLean's to have their side of the story told uh, and I guess McLean's decided not to do that they but pu it, they published pages of their letters yeah I, I don't read McLean's so I don't know what, what <laughs> took place but uh, well, it, I mean that is the problem with this whole debate what has taken place is I think it's become a proxy for something else I it, think what's really going okay. on, some people, because you got on this earlier, what's really going on? What's really going on here is I think some people just don't like human rights. And they want to get rid of human rights codes. I think that is too harsh. I would agree with you that there are agendas that play on both sides here. But it seems that time and time again, that there are now two particular groups in society, the gay community and the Muslim community. Let's say the Jewish community. I think probably that was initiated by, by, from, the, from the Jewish community. These two groups, members within those groups who seem to be offended perhaps more than is fitting in a pluralistic society that is messy by its nature. We will offend each other. We will rub up against each other. That's the way it is. Publishing those cartoons, offensive to some, yes. As a Catholic, wake up in the morning, believe me, you're offended. I mean, there's, there's so much anti-Catholicism, but it's being a big boy and being grown up in a free sure, absolutely. Uh, culture. Absolutely. It's, it's easy for you and I to say that. You know, I, I try to, as a liberal, I try to place myself in the shoes of, of the kid of stepping out of his or her door and seeing that, that sign. And as Noah pointed out, the, it's actually, we're not talking about many cases. Um, so, you know, the vast majority of cases uh, going back to the, the creation of the Human Rights Commission in 77 were not the gay community. It wasn't, were not Muslims. There were people of color mm -hmm. who were being denied accommodation or employment or yep. what have you. And I think all of us, what we're really talking about here is Section 13 and what took place post 9-11. And is it appropriate for us to regulate because government really is the only group that can regulate. Mm -hmm. You know, you and I can't do that. Well, Who else can do that? Society, I, I think, I, I, we have to break here, but I, I, do, I do think society evolves and there, polite society simply does not allow certain things to be I said. I aspire to that as society, but okay. I don't live All in right. it. Um, when we come back, no more the uh, little bit for each of them. They start shouting at each other. There'll be violence and blood. Don't go away.